All right, guys, Chris here with Rack Up and Go, and right now I'm gonna be talking about the EcoFlow five kilowatt hour battery and the polarity adapter that you can use to plug into the proprietary plug on top and get yourself a negative and positive terminal to then run to bus bars to have a 48 volt system. Let's get into it. So in front of you, we've got the five kilowatt hour EcoFlow battery. And then on top, and this is the EcoFlow polarity adapter. In this box, we have a plug with a couple screws on top to cover up the terminals. So these will come off. We now have a negative and positive terminal and the difference, the potential difference of the voltage between these two, this is gonna be 52 volts or the nominal voltage for this battery in order for you to run a 48 volt system. So the back side of this has the proprietary connector and that is gonna plug right into the top. And there's also a screw here to bolt this whole thing down. So I'll take my drill. Secure that down. And then we've got our top cover that'll go over the top. Now, there are two CAN bus ports on this adapter, and these CAN bus ports are gonna be used if you are, say, connecting this battery to the console or another accessory, or to another battery, and then to a console. And that way you get all of the monitoring features of the PowerKit console but you're running a 48 volt system that may, maybe you have other electronics, you know, you run your positive and negative to a bus bar and from there you can run in your charging system, your inverters, what have you. But it's allowing you to use the EcoFlow batteries and then also if you want to get the console, you're allowed, you're able to use the power monitoring services of the console. And so inside here, there is a CAN bus terminator. So if you are daisy chaining these batteries together, um, in order to have proper communication when you have one of the um, dongles connected, like a wireless communication dongle or the power kit, you need to be able to have one of those ports terminated so that you have proper communication along that CAN bus loop. So those two are there. So if you are gonna be using the console, make sure you terminate one of those so you have proper communication. Now to remove it, we'll just undo that screw and you can pop this Clarity adapter back off. Maybe later you decide to upgrade to a, you know, independence power kit or another power kit that you want to have. You know, the batteries connected. Um, now you're able to plug that power kit directly into that. One thing to keep in mind when you are connecting your polarity adapter is to make sure the power for the battery is off. So I've got the plug facing me on this back side. The power is right here, so it was previously off. Short pressing the power button does not turn on. If I press and hold the power button, it should turn the battery on. And we can see we're at 90%. So if this is the screen that you're seeing, you've got a percentage on here, the battery's on. You wanna press and hold the power button until it turns off. And we got the EF for EcoFlow. Now our battery is shut down. Now it's safe to make our connections, plugging in the polarity adapter, and then running our terminals out to bus bars. All right, guys, so that's pretty much everything you need to know about connecting your EcoFlow polarity adapter to either a five kilowatt hour or it could be a two kilowatt hour battery. It's gonna be the same polarity adapter. If you have any questions, please contact us at customercare at rackupgo.com. And remember, life's an adventure. Rack up and go.